Victoria turns to the most serious issue of all, Harley's presence in the marital bed. She's cutting off access for Harley and giving him a new raised bed to sleep on. Oh. <laughs> Baby rails. I put these guard rails up because I'm hoping Harley can't jump over them. Okay, Rick, do you want to come out with Harley? Here I come. Whoa. Okay, Rick, could you go over to the bed that I've set up for Harley over there? Say, bed, give him the treat. Bed, bed. That's it. Good boy. Lots Good of praise. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Rick, will you just come into this bed? Let's just ignore him. You know, shock it at me with a dog. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, away. Good boy. Let's just ignore him. He doesn't know what to do with himself. But this is going to be a little strange for him because he can't be with you anymore. Now, if he gets clever and he decides to jump over this part, then we'll just put a rail up here too. So tonight, I want to see what happens. I think Harley's going to wander around a little bit and I'm hoping that he's going to find his place. Before she leaves for the night, Victoria encourages Harley to try out his new bed. Sit. Lie down. Settle. Good boy. I'm hoping, and I'll see in the camera, that he eventually settles down. Good night, Harley. Sleep tight. Thanks. Thank you. For the next few days, Rick and Jody will carry out the training alone. Before she leaves, Victoria wants to remind them of the new house rules. I'm going to leave you now, but there are things that you have to work on because I want to see major improvements when I come back. Keep Harley out of the bed. Don't let Harley jump up on you, Rick. And Jody, help him with that. One more thing. Victoria also has a challenge for Rick and Jody. I've got some new bedding for you. <laughs> <laughs> when I come back, I don't want to see one dog hair on that duvet. Not one. Best Thank of luck. You. We'll make you Thank proud. You. All yes. right. Yep. Okay, bye. Bye. We want to make sure we get a good grade from her. So we're going to work very hard with Harley. So next time she comes in to, to visit, either he's going to be a, he's going to be a good dog. You know, we can actually share a comforter now. <gasps> really? You could look, but don't touch. So it's so nice to have a bedspread on your bed instead of like a comforter that the dog is eating and chewed on. It's so nice to come up and see your pretty bed and see your room look nice once again. Away. The king of the bed has been dethroned. Hey. It's the first night since Harley arrived that Rick and Jody have had the bed to themselves. However, Harley's behavior is still concerning Jody. Harley growled. I'm not sure he growled at Abby. He's tried to steal our blanket. He paced a lot. So last night was a rough night. Victoria wants to see for herself if Harley is a cause for concern. So isn't it interesting? Mm -hmm. He's comfy. And Abby's the one that's moving around. And I think he just got startled there. He was asleep, dead asleep, and Abby's movement startled him. So that doesn't concern me at all. In fact, at this point, he's been on the bed for four hours. Abby's gone onto Harley's bed, and he goes to Abby's bed. This is good, though, because he's not growling at her. Mm -hmm. That was a big thing. We were just worried that. You know, when we were trying to sleep, he was growling at, at Abby. Right. But I was actually quite relieved because she showed us that Harley just got startled by Abby. So it was really nice to see that he's not as vicious as I thought he was. Harley's good boy status is intact. But what's been going on upstairs? When I went up there, I didn't want to see one dog hair on that new quilt I gave them. No dog, dog hair. hair at all. <laughs> and there wasn't. 
Look, he's just gone straight now, to his bed there. Absolutely, he understands. Can you get onto your bed? I just want to see what he does. I wanted to take one of the bed guards down to see how Harley would react, see what he does. Harley's behavior is very different from Victoria's first visit. No, 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 get down. Get then, he saw the bed as his territory. <laughs> now, he's happy to stay off it. Away. I know that in the future, Rick and Jody will be able to sleep without the bed guards. But it's going to take a while. I want Harley to have a habit of sleeping in his own bed, set him up for success, make it easy for him to do well. And then when he does have a habit of sleeping in his own bed, the bed guards on Rick and Jody's bed can come down. I am ecstatic to have my bed back. You don't understand how nice it is to get into a clean bed, no dog, next to your husband. What could be better than that? It's, it's always going to be work in progress. I know it's difficult to, to remember it, but I think you're doing a great job, so stick at it. I'm going to. Stick at it, Rick. We know if we continue to do what, what Victoria has told us to do, that from now on, it's going to be a nice, beautiful relationship between us and, and, and Harley. All right. It's so wonderful Bye -bye. to see training that is successful and working hard, reinforcing good behavior, giving your dog boundaries, giving your dog lots of love and affection speaks volumes for this training method. Rick and Jody have been fantastically successful and Abby and Harley are better and happier dogs as a result. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.